Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Cheating spouse doesn't want to try to save our marriage, but also doesn't want to leave. Is this normal? Advice sorry I don't know all the abbreviations, brand new to this sub. Long read, so thanks if you power through. My, 37F, husband, 38 meters, have been married for 13 years. We have a 2.5 year old together. He started acting distant and less affectionate in late February slash early March. I thought he was stressed, overworked, etc. When pressed, he finally confessed that three years prior, he had an affair, this was the same time frame we were trying to start a family. He said it ended and no longer has contact, etc. I have a feeling it ended when I got pregnant, but that all feels irrelevant now. The worst part was he said he wasn't in love with me anymore, and didn't think he could get those feelings back. I begged for him to try. I was blindsided. I thought we had a great relationship. We get along great, enjoy spending time together, work well together, etc. I thought we were happy, maybe a bit in a rut and lacking in the bedroom, but a pregnancy and baby can do that to you. He was even talking about what we would do during retirement just before this came up. I asked if there was anyone currently and he denied it several times. We went through a few weeks of emotional conversations, lots of tears, sleepless nights, etc. I lost weight because I could barely eat. He talked about getting an apartment but kept putting it off. Then I noticed a phone number that he had lengthy phone calls to, and when I asked about it he acted like he had no idea what they were, even when he had just had a 20 minute conversation with them that morning. Well, it turns out it was a current AP. He claimed they were just taking but admitted to liking her. And she's aware he's married and is in a relationship of her own as well. Who does that? Once I saw a phone call to a hotel, I knew for sure the just friends slash just talking was complete BS. He still won't outright admit it, but isn't denying it either. He says he doesn't know what he wants, and he is trying to process everything but also claims he fell out of love years ago. He keeps saying to give him time, and I am trying to. But I also don't want to be stuck in limbo. When I realized he was texting her next to me on the couch, I lost it. I told him he has to decide if he wants to try to work things out with me and I would give him all the time he needs or he can see where things go with her, but if he picks her he needed to move out and I would not be there if he changed his mind. But feeling out a relationship with someone else while I waited around was not okay and I deserve more respect. So he told her he had to stop communicating with her so he could get his head straight and make a decision regarding his marriage without outside influence. So far that seems to be true, but it doesn't matter if he has no desire to attempt to reconcile. I am done getting my hopes up. Throughout this whole process, he keeps saying how much he cares about me. That I am one of two people he is closest to and he doesn't want to lose that. We comfort each other, hug and hold each other daily. We are not sleeping together, literally, we sleep in separate beds, no sex, no kissing except him kissing me on the head. But every time I tell him I am letting him go, that I am coming to terms with the end of our marriage and giving him what he wants, he breaks down. I know a lot of it, most of it, is because he doesn't want to lose time with our son. He doesn't want to live somewhere else and miss all the little things, like hugs when he gets home from work or his bedtime routine. He says the thought of not seeing him all the time makes him sick to his stomach. But I point out that he also isn't making an effort to repair our marriage, which is the only scenario where we would continue to live together as a family that he doesn't want me, he just doesn't want the changes and repercussions of a divorce. He says that's part of it, but he does still care about me and doesn't want to lose me. Honestly, it would be a long, difficult, and maybe impossible journey to repair our relationship. He knows I am still willing to make the effort, but I can't make him want to. But it seems he is paralyzed. He has so far refused individual therapy, marriage counseling, and honestly tries to avoid talking about the elephant in the room. 
I actually got him to start a joint marriage counseling app, but he just started it last night so it may not go anywhere either. It's been over 10 weeks now since D-Day. I don't know what to do at this point. This feels like such a bizarre situation and I don't know if I should continue to give him time and leave reconciliation as an option, or push for him to move out and do a separation, or blindside him with divorce papers, which I don't want to do because I believe we can stay amicable and civil even if we split. It's just exhausting and even when things are going well, at some point I just crumble at the reality of it all. I am open to questions, insights, gentle reality checks, etc. Just please be kind. And thank you for taking the time to read and respond. He wants his cake and to eat it, too. He doesn't want you to go, he doesn't want to lose a portion of his fatherhood, it would be a hassle to live on his own at this point probably, but he also wants other PPA. You might have to make the decision for him because, yes, stringing you along and not respecting your boundaries slash needs is not someone I could continue to trust. My cynical brain is like he's trying to figure out how to have it all, how to figure out how to make the marriage work and have his side pieces. Like, if you're poly or open, then great but it sounds like you are monogamous and he's putting you through a lot. I truly hope you and your son find peace. This sounds so stressful and I am so sorry you're being put through this. What you need is also important, orange heart. I do think I will have to make the decision. I don't think at this point he is capable. Thank you for your kind words. I was just about to say cake and eat it. This is a serial betrayal. He has no intention of leaving and in fact by having an affair with someone who is also in a relationship there is no pressure from them for him to leave as they have as much to lose as he does. To cheat once may be forgivable but to do it again. Married for 13 years and you have a kid. If he's smart he probably looked into divorce already and knows he'd be taken to the cleaners. You're already entitled to half add on alimony plus child support. If you're in the US some states are at fault, states or adultery is illegal and can result in a misdemeanor or even a felony charge and he has repeated offenses. Additionally, he feels entitled to the life he built and even knew, that all of this is a result of the loss of his love for you. No, it's just his inability to express and talk things through, his poor boundaries, his ego, his selfishness. Do not be a doormat op. Contact a lawyer and find out what your actual options are. Do not let him walk all over you. We have talked about the reality of divorce. He is aware and supportive of how our assets would be split, and insists he would always make sure I and our son would be taken care of no matter what happens between us. He absolutely failed to communicate his feelings and his actions are incredibly selfish. He feels like a completely different person now which is why I sincerely hope he gets therapy. Me 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 Oshika 789's husband, 2021. The blatant lack of respect towards you is sickening. This is normal behavior for shitty people. I know it may hurt you to take away things that bring comfort to him, because you actually love him and want that to be your dynamic. But he's obviously showing a complete disregard for you as a person. You should divorce him and take as much as you can. He doesn't want to lose you. He shouldn't have sunk 13 years into a relationship to throw it away on some other shitty person. But I guess they deserve each other, and you deserve so much better. Not some codependent narcissist who uses you. I agree. His selfishness is really an eye-opener right now. He feels like a completely different person. Historically, he is an incredibly generous and kind person. Maybe I was blind. I'd say it's normal in the sense that he may still feel entitled to be with you after the ultimate betrayal. After the things he said he should have his mind set one way or the other. You guys will get nowhere if both of you do not work towards reconciliation. He is refusing IC and MC and only after 10 weeks did he start on the app. I would start looking at a separation or perhaps talking to lawyers. As you said you can't make him want to. I'm sorry you're in this situation and my heart hurts for you. I actually mentioned separation again two days ago. 
he breaks down at the thought, even though I think it would be an eye-opener and help his decide if a true attempt to reconcile is possible. I only found the app a few days ago and was surprised he started it, but that doesn't mean anything if we don't continue that direction. Thank you. My husband wouldn't stop contacting his AP even after I caught him. He saw what it was doing to me mentally and physically and didn't care. That's emotional abuse. He disrespected me. I was not the priority. I left. Still legally married but separated a year now. I'm a loving life. Our kids are in university so they are young adults and I understand the conflict you have with your toddler. Still, separation gave me clarity. It also sent a message that I refuse to be treated that way ever again. A lot has happened and my WS and I are on better terms and talking more and texting more. More importantly, I realize I'll be okay without him. You decide how you want to be treated and go from there. It's scary leaving the life you thought you had and just to be well informed, check into what your legal rights out. Thank you. I actually am slowly moving from completely devastating to a I think I will be okay one day mentality. It's just hard and sometimes I am still coming to terms with this being reality, when not long ago I was sure we were in a secure, lifelong relationship. Sorry this has happened to you but you must come to the realization that your marriage is over. Your husband in his words and actions has told you he doesn't love you. He loves his son, cares for you and doesn't want to face any consequences for his actions. You must now be the proactive one. Consult with a lawyer to see how a divorce will look like for you. Get the paperwork drawn up and present it to your husband. This doesn't mean you have to go through with a divorce, in your case it may be best if you do go through with it. He has already distanced himself from you, no sex, nor kissing except for on the head, are you a dog, WTF? And refused therapy. Get IC for yourself. Make him move out. You should not move out because that would have an adverse effect on you during divorce proceedings. Lean into trusted family and friends for support. Keep busy and press on. This will be difficult but right now the most important people in this equation are you and your son. You can divorce and still be amicable. He may be a good father but he is a lousy husband. Remember the three pillars of any successful relationship, love, trust, and respect. You must have all three if your marriage is to survive. Your husband clearly doesn't respect you or the marriage. Caring for someone, especially your spouse is not love and finally do you ever think you could trust him again? He has cheated twice and lied about it both times. You must make the decision, do you want to be a warden or a wife? Again, sorry this has happened to you. Best of luck. At this point I do believe it's over, but his extreme emotional response whenever we discuss the reality of what that means makes me wonder what exactly is going on with him. Kissing me on the head is actually a very sweet gesture and a male friend told me he does that to his wife as a display of his love for her. But I agree that his actions speak volumes and I have told him this. I do wish he would get professional advice to figure out what he wants. I appreciate your description of the three pillars. It is an excellent point. Poor girl, I'm sorry you are in this terrible situation. Cheaters act irrationally and they often don't see it. Frankly, he's an ass. The mixed messages is common. He likes the stability of home and doesn't want to look bad if this goes south. But he can't help himself chasing something new and exciting. Short of a radical life change in his life, this will be his pattern for the remainder of his days. You don't deserve this. I know it is hard and you are at a disadvantage, but please don't let this clown walk and crap all over you. Surprisingly shoving divorce papers in his face will tell you what to expect going forward. I'm afraid I will probably have to go that route. I just hope we can part on good terms. I just don't think the radical change is going to happen. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 